first of all i have to take metal pin bones okay let's go so pin bones will come out it will come a little bit upside so it will be easy to take out okay let's go it's one if you want to make the teriyaki salmon at home, you no need to take this pin bones also. This is the optional things. If you want to take, it will be a good when you are going to eat. It will be uh, boneless salmons. Now I'm gonna clean belly bones. When you are cutting the belly bones, try to take in a long step. You know, no, no, like 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 a like this. No, try to take in a long step and try to take as much as less meat with these bones yes in the belly you will find lots of fat of the salmon so it's called sake toro also sake means salmon and toro means fat so fatty things of the salmon it's called sake toro This one so we can use it to make the dashi. Now I'll clean this part also. <laughs> okay, to make the teriyaki salmon at home, first of all, I will marinate by salt and black pepper. I will the pepper powder. Too much, just a little bit. Okay, it's enough. Both side. Then, okay, let's start to make the sauce. Okay, I'm going to use. 100 ml soy sauce, normal soy sauce. I'm using Yamasa soy sauce. Okay, then I'm going to use two teaspoons of rice vinegar. Yeah, that kind of rice vinegar. Two teaspoons of mirin. Also, you can use the honey if you want. That is the mirin, sweet cooking seasonings. And I'm going to use two teaspoons of sake. I'm using that kind of sake. I'm going to use the hondasi. Hondasi means the all kinds of artificial MSC which will enhance umami flavor. Just this ones, that's enough. And I'm going to use almost 30 gram sugar. Then I'm gonna grate garlic. Garlic and ginger, you can add as per your taste and small piece of ginger, okay? Grated ginger. This is the optional, okay, totally optional. I'm going to use a little bit corny starch, just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit, it's enough. So it will be a more thickness, you know. Then I'm gonna mix very well. It should be a melt all the sugar. Now I'll put a little bit sesame oil, you know. It will enhance the extra level of aroma. Now both sides. Now I'm gonna marinate here, I'm gonna dip here. I'll wait 20 minutes inside the fridge. Time, I'm going to add this remaining sauce also, okay? Can we go like that? 
Okay, it's done. I'm not going to cook too much, otherwise it will be uh, dry. So it's done, okay? with some scattered starch. On the top, I can use a little bit white sesame seeds. That's it. This is how we can make teriyaki salmon at home. 